So in this video, we're going to be polishing off our look and we're going to be doing a, a close inspection, an uncomfortably close inspection for me, uh, my eyebrows and my unibrow and my ear hair and my nose hair. And we're going to be figuring out maybe the best thing to, to do to tidy that up. Uh, those things tend to happen as you get older. I'm 46, so I'm starting to get these uh, long, random stray hairs in places that I don't want them growing. Also, uh, a few months back, I did a beard growth supplement series where I took various uh, beard growth supplements for three months, did wonders for my beard, but also felt like some of these other places that I don't want hair, it kind of kick-started those a little bit more than I wanted. So we're going to take a look at that uh, today. So welcome, guys. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And I don't really want to make this video, but I told you I was going to on my last one where I trimmed my mustache. That video got a, a great response. So if you haven't checked out how I, I trim my mustache, go back and do that. All right, so I had to take some really uncomfortably close uh, photos here with my iPhone 13 Pro. So I think it's got, is it macro photography where you get really close? Maybe it's micro photography. I don't know. But anyway, uh, we're going to get uncomfortably close here and take a look at my eyebrows. Now, I don't have super thick growth anywhere, uh, but I've got just enough that I want to try to take care of it. Um, also, my hair is not jet black, obviously, so it's a little bit of a lighter color. So it's not quite as noticeable. But when we do get in there, we can tell that on each side, I have four or five um, hairs on my eyebrows that are just randomly long. Uh, that I definitely want to trim those back. Uh, I have, uh, you know, four or five in the middle uh, for my unibrow. One of them now is uh, great. It is uh, stark white. It kind of matches the skunk stripe in my beard. It's now between my eyes now. Uh, so I've got glasses, so obviously it covers that up most of the time, so it's not a huge deal unless somebody just gets in there really close to me. They would never notice it, but I notice it, so I want to try to clean that up. So I've got some uh, brand new tweezers here from Brio, uh, the Brio product group. Um, so I'm going to use that on the uh, any of the hairs that's outside of where I want my eyebrows. Now I'm not really shaping my eyebrows uh, like, like ladies do often and kind of reshape the way they look. Uh, only if I have uh, hairs that's outside of the normal eyebrow that I, uh, I normally keep. Those are the ones I'll pluck out. Uh, I'm not really a fan of shaving the unibrow because then everything becomes prickly and everything's the same length and grows back the same. It's like you got a five o'clock shadow uh, in between your eyes, which is kind of weird. So I'm going to try to pluck those out. Uh, and then what I will do then is to thin out my eyebrows just a little bit and just enough to take off the really, really long ones. How do you know if you need to do that? Uh, well, if you see random stray hairs for one, also like when you put your shirt on over your head, if you notice your eyebrows or, you know, feel like you need to comb your eyebrows a lot because they're, they look a little bit wonky. Uh, that might be the case where you can thin those out. Uh, and your stylist or barber may do that for you if you ask them if that's something you do. But I want to show you how to do it at home. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can use a nice little taper comb. Uh, and I've got my Brio beards, uh, no, Brio axis trimmer. So I can just go across the comb on that. Also, they have a guard. So we're going to try out all of that uh, cool stuff. And then when we're going to uh, try the, the the nose, I've got the Brio uh, ear and nose hair, by the way, you can uh, get some exclusive savings with the code Brio wrong with the code Banjo at the Brio product group. So if you're interested in checking out any of that, you can. Now I have used these scissors, but obviously they're kind of pokey. They'll be sticking them up your nose. I'm not a fan of waxing and yanking out all that stuff uh, just for a, a number of reasons, but I don't, that's not me. So we're going to try the little nose hair trimmers and the ear hair. Uh, luckily I don't have tons of nose or ear hair and the ear hair I have is pretty much just white hairs, but I do notice that right here, uh, the, some grow out and I feel my, you know, I can like, ah, oh, I feel it. I feel it. They're getting a little bit longer. And then I, and I noticed that about maybe 10 years ago when I was getting my hair cut, like the stylist would like hit my ear a little bit. Like, why are they doing that? Are they missing my hair? And realized they were like defuzzing me uh, a little bit. So my ears kind of get white fuzz on them. So you can take the, uh, the trimmers here and get rid of that. I'll see if the, the ear trimmer will work. I don't think I've got thick enough hairs for that. 
But we're going to try all of that out. So let me uh, kind of uh, stop the video here, go do all of the stuff in the bathroom and uh, video that for you and come back here and do a little commentary over top of what I did because the uh, audio in the bathroom sucks. So <laughs> hold on just a second. Well, back from the bathroom and I still have eyebrows, no trimming accidents, which is always a good thing. Um, but we're going to see how this goes here and try to give you a quick overview. So let's get this started. So the first thing I did was uh, try my ear, nose, hair trimmers for the first time. So we basically just put that up your nose and kind of move it around. You can hear it cutting things. I don't have super thick growth in there. Uh, and, and having the camera or my phone right in front of me is hard to get in there and see what's going on. Uh, but I was pretty pleased on the way that turned out without having to use other trimmers or you might trim off your mustache by mistake or uh, having to pluck out anything or to wax anything out. Uh, so I thought that was a good option for the, uh, for the nose hair trimmers. I tried that on my ears, but I didn't have thick enough hair on there uh, for it to do any good with that. So I ended up using the uh, the Brio Axis and kind of defuzzed everything. I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so there we go. So I, I get some hair right there on the end on whatever this thing's called. Somebody can tell me in the comments what this part of your ear is called. And the rest of it is basically like a defuzzing. When I went back and looked at it at the end, I realized like, okay, I left a little bit of fuzz at the very bottom. I didn't get off my little end of my lobe. You see, I got a little bruise there where I slept too hard. Does anybody ever else get bruises on your uh, on your ears from sleeping? I get that sometimes. But anyway, I uh, felt that cleaned up everything well enough there. All right, now we're moving on to the eyebrows and going to try to get that unibrow and realized I was too high. I needed to, so yeah, I'm going to scrunch down here and then in a minute I'm going to raise the my uh, phone up on my tripod a little bit, but basically I just, I just take the uh, tweezers and just kind of go at it for about 15, 20 seconds. Just pluck out anything it'll grab. Uh, and it's going to pull straight out. You don't want to pull against it because you might break your hair. You want to try to pull the whole follicle out and it'll give me a little, a little red spot there for a few minutes, but it's not, doesn't really hurt or anything like that. Try to get it kind of flush with your skin and, uh, Take care of that little unibrow without having to go to any more drastic measures than that. And there we go. That's done. And then the next thing is to uh, try uh, well, fixing the camera back. But anyway, uh, we're trying to get the some of the bulk uh, out of the eyebrows. And I ended up doing a couple different things just to show you. The first was trying the attachments that come with the Brio uh, Axis trimmers. So I did the six millimeter to start with and realized uh, it wasn't, it didn't get quite enough. So I went back then and changed it to the five millimeter. Uh, so there I am with the guard on it. And I, I don't know if I fast forward to hear this. This is the six millimeter or the five. I'll tell in a second because I, I, I tried to pull straight out and see what. I had any super long hair still left after doing that and I can see that I do right from this picture here so uh, then I go back and switch it around and go to a five so I think there's a six a five a four or three and a two I think there's four different guard levels no six different guard levels two three four five six I can't count very well that's why I became a math teacher but anyway this second pass did it I could probably have gone down another one but I'm going to do a little bit different method in a minute so I got to go over there where I can get closer to the mirror and check, but that caught uh, those uh, three or four uh, really, really long hairs. Uh, it caught that. So then the next method I wanted to show you was using the uh, the taper comb. Uh, and this one I got in my uh, uh, wall clipper set, but uh, I'll put a link for something that's uh, that'll work for you down uh, from Amazon if you're interested. So you put that in, you can zip it straight across, or you can just go straight up with it and catch some of those. You just have to be careful not to slip and you don't want to take away too much. You can uh, kind of angle it, bevel that comb out a little bit. So uh, less is more in this case, because if you take off too much eyebrows, you're going to have that surprise look on your face all the time. And we don't want that. So I just took a little bit of that out uh, without doing anything too drastic. Nobody else would ever tell I did anything uh, more than likely, but it worked for me. And then I'll give you, a, I think I got one last little close up here. I'll show you. Uh, yeah, so kind of do the pass. So you can kind of see still there, uh, but all those random uh, hairs are gone. There's the ear. It's, it's got a little bit of fuzz at the bottom. 
Uh, but that is pretty much it. But anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, is this something you guys have been worried about? Nose hair, ear hair, eyebrows? If so, let me know what methods you use, what you found to work for you. Or do you have like your, you know, a stylist or barber kind of take care of the eyebrows and hit your ears and that's all you're really worried about. And that's kind of all I did there for a while. But I wanted to make this video for you guys and to try out some new stuff. I always like experimenting and learning and passing those things on to you. Uh, so I make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out more of my trimming videos for my beard and my mustache. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.